Welcome to Steps Gaming. Today we are going to see if the mystery encoder slash a custom arcade USB board for the Gen 1 i Arcade. If it's easy to install, if I could use a controller, let's get into it. All right, we're going to break into this and put in mystery encoder or team encoders USB card. Let's get started. So before you take the deck out, obviously unplug everything because it needs to be unplugged <laughs> from the back, from this back panel here. Put the deck out just by using the side screws that were on each side of the cabinet the there. Itself, there's just screws on each corner here and on the other side. And there's a sticker. You have to remove the voids warranty. Not that you have a warranty anymore anyway. So really easy to get into. I have no idea why opening is void your warranty. I guess they're concerned about the board, but if you open everything fine it's there's nothing it's not a big deal um i could tell they did use actual sand sticks those are and i could tell by the feel before anyway but i could tell now even more so those are real legit sand sticks buttons are not just like just like i you know they've said i've said there were some ads that said they were sandwall buttons that's not the case it'd be easy to put sandwall buttons in here but if you ever want to change these wires it's gonna be a complete pain so I, 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 I think it's best to just stick to Sanwa and don't upgrade it to IL or anything like that. It doesn't make any sense. Because this is the first time I've had it open. So I'm just looking. I've seen it, you know, obviously videos. but um, So now i got to figure out where we're going to put this USB card. So I got the, the little USB card out of the little package there, which is really a cool package. Um, a custom arcade with the Mystery Encoder logo. And then I look over at the board, I'm trying to figure out where to put this. I, I'm figuring I'm gonna have to like fiddle this on some pins or something, but I look at it, the pins are right here and the, the two places to connect it are right here. This is how easy this is. You just pop it in. There we go, it's popped in, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> Boom, now we're popped in. It's right there. They said that it was not a possibility to have USBs on this thing. What a bunch of liars. <laughs> Look how easy that is. Boom. It's like they were right there for that purpose all along. Are you kidding me? That's how easy this is? My God. So this is the nice cable that came with it. And it's got USB-A and USB-C over there. So I could plug it into either port and feed it through the hole... And then maybe put a um, um, a powered USB hub on the other end. I, I you know something like that. Um, it's a nice cable. Uh, I, I I don't have a sin and light gun at this point, so I'm gonna test a Xbox controller and see what we get. So I'm just gonna feed a regular US. Well, actually, this cable would work just fine. This cable would work. This one they provided. So I'm gonna plug this in, and then I'll plug that in to the bottom of my Xbox Series S controller, and then. We could see if the controller will work. I got the cable in. I got fed through the hole. Now I got to put this back in the cab. Well, put that back together and put it back in the cabinet. But they even made the board white, just like the IRK board. That was really cool. A really cool idea. It looks like it was meant to be like it was a match made in heaven. Okay, so here is where the board's going. See how I'm going to feed that cable right through that hole right there? So then I have access to the cable. So that's back in. I got to put my glass back on, but... There's the cable, right? It's coming out here from the hole. And then if I really want to, I could probably find some sort of clip to stash it up there later. If, you know, and things like that or attach things here, which is nice that there's this extra space. Okay, so we're powering on. So are we gonna get the iArcade? We are, we're still working. It's good news, good news. Still working, hooray. Okay, can I play Space Invaders? Looks like it. Still working. Happy day, don't mind the jackhammers outside. They're putting in a driveway or something. <laughs> Do I got volume? Yes, I do. Playing one-handed. All right, cool. We know that works now. Great. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna have our controller hooked up. It's flashing. 
which I mean, I, to me means it's probably not recognized. Uh, but we're going to go into Metal Slug. I got to be careful. I don't want to be pressing any of these buttons, period, because you do not want to accidentally upgrade Metal Slug. <laughs> so we're going to hit A, and then it says a game update's available. Would I like to update it? I'm going to go with B, as in decline. Cool. All right, Kyle Bunga it is. We're going to press A for OK. And then, what's it say here? Would you like Metal Slug to access the controller? Yes, I do. Sounds good to me. We going to work? What button am I going to press? Start. Coin. It's not letting me press OK. Interesting. The Xbox controller didn't work, so you see I didn't put the glass or bother. I just plugged in this retro bit Sega Genesis Mini six-button controller. We're going to see how this does. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. Well, let me hook it up. We'll see if we can stream some gameplay. Okay, so we got some Ninja Baseball Batman coming up. Can I insert a coin with the press of a button? No, controller does not give me any of that. But I can hit coins here. So will the controller let me press start? Press any button? Pressing any button. This controller is not working in Ninja Baseball Batman. Huh. But we're still going through the menu, interestingly enough. So... Will the controller work? Let's go double dragon. Oh, I can't do online play because I'm not connected to the internet. Local play. Okay, cool. So we want. <laughs> press some coins. If I press start, will it work? Start here. Can I use the buttons? No, controller's not working. Okay. Let's try, because I have a feeling it's gonna work. Go Metal Slug. Hit no to the decline the update B. What? No update. There we go. I, I pressed A on the controller and that came in. So will it do the controller now? Let's find out. Okay. Oh, it's working. It's working. Uh, I guess I accidentally pressed player two, but... It's working. Controller's working. There we go. So, some games, yes. Question everybody wanted to know. Does it work with Circus Interstellar? Look at this. Let's see. Yes, it does. It works. You could use your Sega Genesis controller <laughs> to play Circus Interstellar on the IRK. Sydney Hunter. I wonder if Sydney Hunter would work. See, I'm doing this with the controller. The menu navigates fine with the controller, but uh, but a lot of the games don't work. Some do. And I think a lot of the games that specifically I Arcade program maybe not work. I was in, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Space Invaders. And it, it was able to change stuff on the screen, but it wasn't able to control. I don't think, yeah, it's not controlling Sydney Hunter. It controlled Circus Interstellar. It did not... I did some shooters. It didn't do that. Um, what was I going to try? Uh, everybody wants to try Donut Dodo, right? Donut Dodo! Where, did I pass it? I must have passed it. I did. I passed it. All right. All right. Got the controller out. 
Okay. Press and start. It appears to be working. But how do I, let's see. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong thing. That's why. <laughs> see, it's hard to hold the, hold the phone and use the controller at the same time. So let's insert coin. Easy mode, whatever. Fine. <laughs> Yeah, it's working. See? It is working. I'm not jumping because I only got one hand, but see, it works. <laughs> well, anyway, you can see now how easy it was to install a USB port card for your iArcade. I feel we were lied to. They could have released that. Like, for the price of a $300 Retromania cap, at thirty dollars, now that USB card shipped to me, three hundred thirty dollars. I can have what's equivalent to like an IRK Gold. And how much did they want for that? A thousand, a thousand eight hundred dollars on sale. Should have given us the card. Should give us the USB ports sooner. Really goofy, if you ask me. I don't know, man. Um, but you know. We'll see what else I can hook up to this in the future. I got to get a Cinnamon gun. The controller was pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what's next. And hopefully I'll get some software from Mystery Encoder soon to install. Because he said they're working on that. And right now all I could really do is plug the card in and try some stuff out. Science! Right? So if you like science, give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. If you're getting one of these, if you're waiting for Glenn's deck, what your plan is... And I'll see you in the next one.